Chris from Cell Harmony. Thank you for being here. And my voice is already leaving me. I'm sorry. I'm having my tea here with my Christmas cup. Mm. I'm absolutely sorry, but I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. So anyway, what we're going to do today are some uh, little gift card holders for men. And I'm going to do it on Christmas, for Christmas, but it, you can just change here the, um, the little piece on the front if you want to change it for something else for another uh, occasion. And they're the easiest and quickest way you, make, you can make them. That's the last minute gift card holder. I don't have the card here, I have it here. And it's just very simple. You won't need much for this, uh, just a piece of paper. You're going to use even your scraps for this example and a little belly band that's going to be your scrap piece of paper we're going to be using here and there you go and the embellishment is going to be also very easy it's really specific for man because i think it's not easy to find some ideas for man except some dull papers so i tried to make something a little bit more interesting here so um the paper pad i'm using is this one i just want to show it to you it's called um let me see it's a Seven, it's from Seven Gypsies, okay, and it's called Travel, and it's a six by six um, double sided variety pack. So there are different things here. It's about maps, worldwide maps, and I think it's a more interesting um, design for men here. It's maybe not very Christmassy, so this is why I've added this on top of it, okay? Now, these are, like I said, six by six pieces of paper. So what I'm going to do here is cut it down. I'm going to keep the length here which is six but on the sides I'm gonna cut it down to four and a half inches which is about eleven and a half centimeters okay so I'm gonna cut it down and that's it then as for the measurements here I'm gonna cut it because I just forgot I am gonna um, yes one and a half and I think it's two on the other side yes something like that so here I'm going to change my blade and the first one on the bottom, you can change these measurements, they're really, it's not important at all, just do what, the way you want it. But here I'm going to do one and a half inches, I'm going to score it one and a half inches on the bottom part. Okay, and on the top part I'm going to score at about two inches, maybe a little over two inches. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and then once this is scored, I'm going to do it this way. This is what it's going to look like. If you want to put this a little lower, just make your crease lower because you still have a little wriggle room here. Okay, it fits in here perfectly. And you've got enough here on the sides to just use your double sided um, um, tape here. This is what I'm going to do. It's really not fancy, but if you're in a hurry, that's going to be so easy to make. Okay. Really press down to make it hold on very quickly. Then you're just going to put your your uh, gift card here in it. It's got enough space. And then you close it. Now, you could put here uh, another kind of decoration or a piece of, of um, Velcro. I think the belly bands are so nice. And because I've got this piece here left over, I'm going to use it as my belly band. And I don't even need to cut it in any way. I'm just going to put it around here got enough room there um, and I don't want to make it too tight just gonna put see here some tape and I like to put it on the side but if you want to put it in the middle it's a belly band just do what you wish and it's still enough for me to put it in and out let me see oops here in and out I said yes okay and now as for the decorations i'm going to here take a piece of scrap paper and i'm using manila not totally white because this is not white and you know what i think about i could have used the other side of this it would have been probably even better yes so you know what i'm going to take this piece here away and hold on i'm going to take my special eraser for this 
and uh, you can find these they're specifically made to get out um, to take away your um, double-sided tape okay I'm really doing this very very quickly but I think the other side would be much better yes so I'm gonna do it this way that's what I've done with the others and I think it's nicer okay so I'm gonna put this time my double sided tape here and of course I don't have enough what's going on there you have it and I'm trying to line it up okay and as I was saying here I'm gonna use this crap piece of paper manila because white here it doesn't look that great and I'm going to use the state, same stamp I used here because it's for Christmas or maybe somebody that was born around Christmas. And I'm going to use a brown color because I think it's going to fit with this. Is this juicy? It is. Okay. Then I'm going to put it down here. I always wait a few seconds for the ink to transfer onto the paper. There you go. And I'm going to use some deckle edge scissors here. And I'm just going to follow here more or less the lines and the shape of, um, of my snowflake here. So there is no fussy cutting. Ugh, and these scissors sometimes don't work as as well as I would like them to work, but I'm just going to we're gonna go like fine just for today. And because I think it's quite dull, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in with a silver gel pen, metallic gel pen, and I'm gonna throw in some little dashes, you know, little pointy colors here and there because I think it needs something. I know men don't like bling too much. I know my hubby don't. So just putting a little bit here and there, and because it's silver, it's going to be just fine. And I'm going to call it good. Now what we need here is a little bit of double-sided foam, and I make my own because it's really cheap to do. And I'm going to take a pokey tool here, just because it's easier for me to take the backing off. Oh, I still have a lot of glue there. I've been crafting all day long to make all these videos. I'm going to put this on the back. Again, use a little bit of my pokey tool, which is not really a pokey tool, but that will do the trick. Come back here and put it down there. And you have it. Be careful with the gel pen because it takes a little while before. Um, and the cut is really not perfect here, so I might do some something there if I can still get into here. Not sure. I think I'm going to make it worse. So just please just pretend that was good. Look at this one. This one is really nice. That was the idea. Okay. So that's just it. Well, it's it. Look at that. I don't know. A few minutes. I've never, under 10 minutes, I have made a video under 10 minutes. I can't believe this. And there you have it. I mean, it's really good. It's a perfect size, not too big. Some wiggle room here to put your um, gift card. You could put a sentiment here if it was for a birthday, for example, or a uh, um, Merry Christmas and whatnot. Look at that. Under 10 minutes while wow, I'm improving myself. But I really wanted to make it easy and quick. And they all look, I mean, this pattern paper really looks nice. And that's about the same thing. I just wanted to put a Christmas here ornament on top. So easy to do. So, yes, please tell me what you think about it. I always come back to you and I respond to your comments. Don't forget to give me some thumbs up, to subscribe, and hit also the bell button to get all the notifications and share this video. Thank you very much for being here with me again and see you soon for many more videos. Bye bye and take care.